then no one can stop. It must stop by itself. You remember Dauji? Yeah, before last year we were there in Italy and whole mountains was full of ashes because the fire, forest fire there last year. Last year maybe it was. Last year, yes, we were going uh, to Tyranny. So that time we have seen. So Gopal, one devotee from there, he showed, look, all mountains are completely burnt by the forest fire. And they tried to stop in various ways. From, by helicopter, they throw water. But it was stopped. And it stopped after he destroyed everything. So, samsara, this fire, by which fire we are suffering, this fire also like forest fire. We cannot stop. Because we don't know the way to stop it. Mahaprabhu showed us how we can control that fire, how we can stop this fire, and that is Harinam. Cheta darpanam arjanam bhava mahadavarni nirvavaram Sriya kairava chandrika vitaranam Akairava chandrika Externally we have mood, is not? But mood is not spotless. If you look at the moon, so you can see so many spots are there. So it is not spotless moon. But if we we'll take shelter on Mahamantra, some another moon will arise in our heart. And that moon is spotless, very pure. Yeah. And it is always full moon. That moon is always full moon. It was not trapped by the Rahu and Ketu. Ketu. That moon of Mahamantra. And what it will do? That moon? So it will destroy all the darkness of our ignorance. So when we'll take exactly what is this? When we'll take shelter about Mahamantra. What is what, what is this? It's gradually developing bhakti. And when the bhakti will appear inside of our heart, so bhakti starts to work. And what is happening with us, with Mahamantra, that everything, all the power of bhakti, Kleshagni Shubhada Moksha Lohutakrit, Bhakti Rasamrita Hindu, Kleshagni Shubhada Moksha Lohutakrit Shudur Loha, Chandra Nandan Pradayaning Sri Krishna Karshini Chosha. If bhakti will develop, what will happen? Kleshagni. All the places will destroy. By bhakti. And what is difficulties or suffering? No, it's that the point. That's why I'm going to tell you. Place here is not that. What Dauji oh. said, place. Yes, exactly by the word. Exactly by the word, you know. The word means problems, but. Problems and sufferings, place, that is place. But here, Rupa Goswami, he showed us something else. Something very different. What is Klesha for us? Klesha to Papam, Tad Bijam, Abhidda Cheti Tridha. Klesh means three points. First is Papam, sinful credits, sin, the seed of sin, Tad Bijam, and the darkness of ignorance and avidya. 
So when will tech center on Maha Mantra and when it will develop bhakti inside of inside of our heart? So at first what it will do? It will destroy all our places. First it will destroy all our sinful credits. Then it will destroy the seed of credits because if just I'm giving you an example. Just, uh, just think about the forest fire. Okay. After forest fire, everything will be burned. Just after that forest fire stops, if you look at the place, you will see only the ashes. But after two years, if you go in the same place, you can see another forest is growing. Another plant is growing there. From where all those plants came? came? Who planted this? No one. By itself it's grown. From where? Yes. The fire they burned on the upside of ground. Wood is there, down the earth, under the earth. <coughs> so when that root, the main root is there, so when that root got some water, got some food from these ashes and from others, from soil. So again, it's planted, it starts to grow from that root. So, in Srimad Bhagavata, Parshit Maharaj and Subhadra Goswami Charan when they are talking, so they talk about this, that how one can be free from all sinful credits. At the beginning, Shukadev Goswami started to describe about Jnana and Yoga. And he gave this example. He gave this example, or Shukadev, if we'll take shelter on Jnana, then it will burn all your simple things. Then Parishit Maharaj he said, okay, if it will burn, then again it will come. Because the root will be there. So that is why. Mahaprabhu showed us such a way, it will never grow any plant of sin. After taking shelter on Mahamantra, Mahamantra will destroy everything, all this. First, Sriya Akairava Chandrika Vitaranam, first it will destroy, by that moon, full moon, of Mahamantra, it will destroy all the darkness of ignorance, it will destroy the avidya. Then, it will clean everything. It will clean everything. It will burn all the sinful credits and sin. And then it will destroy the seed of sin. And then he clear everything from there. Otherwise, it will remind, is not? If one plant is was there, if something is somewhere and it's burnt, how long time that ashes will be there? It will remind us there was that thing, is not? Is not? Maybe I'm giving you an example, one tree, it's just burnt, it turns to ashes. So how long time you will remind that tree, how long time you will see that ashes there? 
As long as we see the ashes, it will remind us. The, 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 the Always it will remind us, yes. So, what will happen by Mahamantra, by Krishna? That's why Krishna is known as Bidu. Bidu. Bidhunati. Bidhunati iti Bidu. He is cleaning everything very clearly. Mahamantra is not only burning that things. She will just wash out from our heart and mind. It will just wash out everything, all the ashes. That it will never come, that desire of all sinful activities. It will never remind us. Sriya Akhaira Vachandrika Avitaranam When it will be full of lights, then we can see our pure identity as the servant of Krishna. It will develop the knowledge about Krishna and Krishna Shiva, the service of Krishna, Vidya Vadhujivanam. Anandam Buddhi Vardhanam When we'll start to chant Mahamantra So we are connecting ourselves with the ultimate bliss At the beginning, maybe you will not get the taste of Mahamantra, the nectar taste of Mahamantra but when time will go, when will continue, after some time, then we can feel that test. The nectarian test of Mahamantra. Harina Mahamrita. Then that ultimate bliss will appear inside of our heart and it will never go away from our heart. It's like some eternal connection. It is there. The connection is there. But we forgot. The connection was there. But it was disappeared. Connection was there. It was hidden. When will get reconnect? Reconnection. When will reconnect us? Again with Krishna, by Krishna Naam, then, then that unbroken source of ultimate bliss will appear again inside of our heart. It will never stop. Pratipadam Purnam Ritashwadanam. All the words. All the steps of Harinam Shadhana of Harinam is completely new test. Very new. It's a very nice story in Srimad Bhagavata. Near to the end of Srimad Bhagavata. It was 10th canto, chapter 80. 8 0 chapter 8 so Sukhadev Goswami he was describing Krishna Katha and that time he was describing very nice Katha very beautiful Katha of Sri Krishna's wedding with Rukmini how Sri Krishna forcefully took Rukmini in front of so many kings and he just ran. It was very nice story of Krishna Katha, Krishna Lila. But suddenly what's happened, Sugadha Goswami changed the topic. He started to describe about the visiting pilgrimage of Baladev Chandra. You know? Because Baladev Chandra he did not uh, take part in Kurukshetra Yudhya, the great battle of Kurukshetra. And that time, 
Yes. He went to visit all pilgrimages. So, suddenly he started the stories of Baladev Chandra. How Baladev Chandra entered in Naimisharana. How, what's happened there. How he just cut uh, Lomaharshan and how he blessed all the other Muni Rishis. So the Goswami start to talk about this. But it was very painful for Parikshit and all other. They were very strange. Why Shukadeva just changed the topic? Parikshit Maharaj he was re representing us there. So he has to say, he has to ask. Parashat Maharaj stop him. I have one question. Yes. Please tell me. He said, Oh, hey Shukadev, is all Krishna Katha already described? Hmm. Is Krishna Katha is finished? Shukadeva Goswami, it was a great chance to show all over the all the world about the greatness of Parikshit. And he started to argue for Parikshit. It is not good, Baladev Chandra Katha. Yes, it is good. It is also very beautiful. But we want to listen Krishna Katha. Maybe later we will listen Baladev Katha. Shubhadeva asks, for what? Why you want to do this? Is Krishna Katha is very important for you. Maybe for you, maybe it is important for others here. Parikshit Maharaj said, yes. It is really very important for everyone. It is not only for me, not only for them, for everyone. It is important. Krishna Katha. Why it's so important? Because without any connection of Krishna, our senses will be useless. And nobody will, will dislike this because Krishna Katha is very Madhura sweet. Sukadev, he said, Oh, Parishit, Krishna Katha is sweet, yes. So I have to tell something to you. You know, if you take so much sweet, after some time, some uneasiness will appear. Indigestion. Not only indigestion, it's uneasiness. Then you will feel, if some different taste I take, then I'll, I can take more sweets. Some uneasiness will come. So, Parishit, is Krishna Katha is sweet, very sweet. So that uneasiness will come here. And if it, is, it will come in any of their hurt or your hurt, then all the offenses will come to me. Because I am describing Krishna Katha to you. And after me, it's offense of you against Krishna. Then Parishit Maharaj said, No. Hey Munivar. This uneasiness will never come to us. You know why? Because, yes, Krishna Katha is very sweet. But it's very different sweetness in all different moment. Some different is always new. Don't hesitate to continue. 
because you know. Uttamaha sloka vikrame yasrunyatang rasogyanam shadu shadu pade pade. That uneasiness will never come near to our hearts. Why? Because Uttamaha sloka, who is destroying all the darkness of our ignorance, that Krishna will be in the middle between uneasiness and our heart. So, by his power, <coughs> that uneasiness will never come to us. <laughs> and Rasha Jnana, if one time one will listen this, one will connect it with Krishna Katha, then she will never refuse. He has to continue anyhow. Otherwise, he will die. Without Krishna Prem, without Krishna Katha, you will die. And you know, Krishna, everything connected with Krishna is in every moment a new beauty, new taste, different, always different, always new. Nitya Nava Navayaman. Ever fresh. Ever fresh, yes. ever green, like the <laughs> So ever fresh, always something's new. So, please tell us, please continue, don't hesitate to describe Krishna Gatha to us. Then Sukadev Goswami again he starts. So it is always new. The uneasiness, the sickness will never come. Whenever it will come, by the blessings, by the power of Krishna, it will go away from our hearts and minds. Pratipadam Purnam Maritashwadanam in every word, in every letter, you will get the nectarian taste from Muhammad. There is only one thing in this world. Mahamantra, it will never bore you. You can listen to other, other songs after three, four times. She will be bored. Yes. But if you listen to Mahamantra, always it is beautiful. Always refreshing our mind and heart. Pratipadam Purnamrita Swadhanam. It is connected with the spiritual nectar. So we'll get that test inside of us. Sharvan snapanam param vijayate sarikrishna samkirtanam. What is the great things Mahamantra will do for us? It will give us sour. You know? We are here, always contaminated. Always we are doing some mistakes. Always by your ignorance we are doing some faults, some offenses. So, if we'll get some mud on our hands, on our palm, so suddenly we'll run to the washroom and we'll wash by showing. We can clean contamination externally by soap, by scrubber. But there is one form inside of this body. How we can clean that form? When we are always contaminating it, how we will clean ourselves? Only by Mahamantra. Sharba Atma Snapanam. By water we are taking shelter 
we are getting clean externally by water and by Mahamantra, by Harinam, we can clean our soul, our inner form, our eternal form, we can clean it. So, Param Vijayati Sri Krishna Sankirtanam, there is nothing great than Mahamantra. Sometimes it is more powerful than Krishna. If we can perform any offenses by your ignorance against Krishna, against Guru, against Vaishnavas, but we don't know this. It's happened by your ignorance. So what we should do? To go away from this offense? Aparadha? Mahamantra. If you do offense against Krishna, Mahamantra will save you. Man, Mahamantra is such powerful. It is such power. So that's why Param Vijayati. Nothing great than Mahamantra here. That's why it's very important for our life. First, we have to take shelter on Mahamantra. First we have to follow this, then other bhajan, then other spiritual practice will be fruitful, will be useful, then other spiritual practice we can do in a perfect way. Otherwise the perfection will never come to us if it is not supported by Mahamantra. A great way to get perfection from our sadhana. We are getting mantras from Sri Gurudev, is not? Gurudev will give us some mantras. So our sadhana to continue chanting all those mantras. That is our main sadhana. What Mahamantra will do, then what, what is the importance of Mahamantra there? If our sadhana about Kama Vij, Kama Gayatri, Mula Mantra, Mahamantra will support to get the perfection. Because we don't know how to chant this mantra. We don't know. There are so many rules and regulations are hidden. For that mantra. Maha mantra will maintain everything. How much we can do? <coughs> we'll do. And other, what is left? Maha mantra will do. That is why Maha mantra is so powerful. That is why Maha mantra is so important for our spiritual practice for our life. And by Mahamantra, you can do anything. Maybe you are far away from your house. You could not uh, perform your daily seva, daily seva. So what you'll do? Text the term Mahamantra. When some other activities, for some other activities, maybe you went some this kind of bhakti mela and you are serving the Vaishnavas, devotees, you are doing so many things which is connected with your spiritual practice. And for that, you cannot perform your daily duties. Mahamantra will complete this. You know, in uh, India, in Hindu culture, there is some contamination stage 
after one bullet he will die it's according to cursed there are certain stages there it's known as contamination stage asucha and after that we'll do the atonement the srad offering rice balls to the forefathers and that person so on this stage that person will follow in that asucha he cannot do is daily duties not anji not puja not tilak nothing so what he can do that time only maha mantra sri chaitanya mahaprabhu has said sarvakhan karoi the vidhi nahi ar for maha mantra you have not to follow any rules and regulations then mama prabhu ji ka je so this is the only for maha mantra then we must not follow any rules and regulations so this is only for maha mantra after sanyas once maha prabhu he was talking with his devotees very near devotees ishta gashti krishna katha so everyone they are asking something to mahaprabhu one devotee here yes. shri ki sat tari nanit sat prabhu how we should chant maha mantra mahaprabhu said mahaprabhu did mahaprabhu said yes good question mahaprabhu said you have to chant maha mantra with pure heart snashte se spiyo to maha mantra sunim satsam very in very clean position then another devotee he asked why will go to washroom or toilet like this can you remember maha mantra there mujhe matlab se kya tak ki maha mantra maha prabhu said no how you can do this maha prabhu ji ka na kam kis tarah no kono pore pore sa sa it's forbidden it's not allowed to do this it's aparadh to is to pay There was one small boy. Kavikara. No, Gopal Guru. Gopal Guru. Oh, Gopal Guru. Yeah. One small boy was there. Five years old. Boldly, yes, five years, five or six years old that time. Boldly he asked Mahaprabhu. Prabhu, if I die that time. So I die without Mahamant, without Tanda. So Mahaprabhu ran to him and embracing. Mahaprabhu ki andesha aur dil. And she said, "Oh, Gopal, you just open my eyes. From today, you'll be my Siksha Guru. Yes." Mahaprabhu accepted him as Siksha Guru. He said, "Yes, you are right." Your name will be not Gopal, but Gopal Guru. Guru. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are right. Then Mahaprabhu said to everyone, "Yes, we have to follow Hari Nam everywhere in any situation because only Hari Nam can save us, save us from our life." from samsara we are here in samsara a big ocean you know there is so many problems somewhere some hidden current are there in the water somewhere it's a very dangerous so many big animals are there so much suffering problems tension so who will save us in this samsara sadhu hari naam maha mantra only by hari naam we can clean only by hari naam maha mantra we can stop savoring we can throw away all our tension we can throw away all our problems then we can enter 
and Krishna Bhajan. Only by Harinam we can do this. So that's why in Sikshastaka, Mahaprabhu he started by glorifying Harinam. It's the most important for our life. So today, the Harinam, glorifying Harinam Mahaprabhu explained, tomorrow she will continue his Sikshastak again. Nama Nama Kari Bhutana Shakti. So we'll continue this Sikshastak tomorrow. If you have a question, you can ask. No. Yes, it says that the Harinam will, will give, uh, will reveal our spiritual form. Yeah. So what's the need for Siddha Because spiritual form as sadhaka, the exact, exact form is Siddha Pranali. Spiritual form, eternal form, that I'm Krishna's servant. That will be revealed by her. Yes. But the specific form, Guru will show you. Guru will show you. Yes. He is asking if uh, when children are learning the language, he asks if uh, Paramatma is helping them. Yes, Paramatma is always helping us, but he is always neutral, you know, he is always neutral, he is there, he is generating us and he gave us all the power to catch. So by that power, one newborn children is catching everything. It's not to say when he'll grow that this is sky, this is water. No. They are catching everything. He asked if uh, the consciousness is Paramatma. No. Nebelomi, Svedomi. Subconsciousness. No. Subconscious, sub, subconsciousness is another thing, Chitta. It's subconscious mind. Paramatma completely neutral. Subconscious mind is always working with us. What? Yes. But how you recognize it? It's your subconscious mind is saying. It's like it's saying triggering or no, so they try to feel some voice that you say yes. it was wrong and you feel for it is wrong. So consciousness. That is not consciousness. 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 No. 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 He is asking whether conscience is, is the same as Paramatma, the, the voice that says don't do that. No, no, no. That is no, coming out, conscience is coming out from our subconscious mind. It, will, it is recognizing something. From your samskara it is coming out. Yes, conscience you can say samskara. Conscience, yes. Which will get from your childhood. Yes. Uh, he said that uh, we should always, the, the conclusion of scripture is to surrender to Krishna and he asked how we should surrender to Krishna. Nice question. Very good and important question. How to surrender? In all scripture, everyone says, at the conclusion, surrender to Krishna. Yes. How we should surrender to Krishna? Yes. Prityajya. When you, will, you are leaving all your external activities, that means which is connected with this material world, one after one, how much activities, material aspects and attachment you are leaving, you are refusing, you are rejecting. So that means you are going near to the lotus feet of Krishna. 
So when all the attachment for this material world would go away from your heart, that means you are completely surrendered. Any more questions? Well, that very nicely described right now. And this, uh, this uh, Sikshashtakam verse is about, it's about uh, Paramjata Isi Krishna Sankirtan. Mm. It's Sankirtan okay. and Harinam is too different. Harinam as Sankirtan to Sankirtan. Yes, Harinam, very, very mm -hmm. nice things, very nice things. Very good, Gopal. Harinam means Sankirtan? No, Harinam is this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Then there is two way for Harinam. One is for chanting, one is for Sankirtan. What is Sankirtan? When we are singing loudly with all others. When one is singing, that is Kirtan. When everyone is singing together, that is Sankirtan. Samma kurupe na kirtanam iti Sankirtanam. Samya means all together. So then you can say it is Harinam Sankirtan. And when all together will chant Mahamantra. All together, we are, everyone is chanting, and that is, you have, to, you can say that Harinam Yapa Yagya. Harinam Yagya. Harinam Sankirtan. So, Sankirtan is the way of Harinam. Harinam is Maha Mantra. That's why always we are, chant, we are saying Maha Mantra. <coughs> chant Maha Mantra. Chant Maha Mantra, is not? When Harinam is Maha Mantra, then we can chant this. <coughs> and when it's Tarak Brahma, then we can sing loudly. When you are chanting, you must have some count. There. When it, it is Yapa, you must get some count there. When you will do Sankirtan, there is countless. No counting. No counting is there. And, and the effect? Like effect? Effect are the same. same. Effect are the same. Haridas Thakur. We know everyone that he used to do every day 3 lakhs maha mantra, 300,000 maha mantra, is that? So first 100,000 maha mantra he used to chant manasik and it's for himself, his own sadhana. Second 100,000 he used to chant in a hissing way for so all the subtle forms. All the subtle forms, Devadas and all the other subtle, subtle forms. And third hundred thousand, he used to chant very loudly. Yes, with count. He used to chant very loudly. It's for everyone. Yes. There is three way. I just described three ways. When I'm doing other things, I'm chanting in my mind, then I can't count. No problem. Just continue. It's known as Ajapa. Ajapa means with all your activities, you are meditating Maha Mantra. By your breathing, with your breathing, always you are doing this in your mind. So it's Ajapa. 
it's more higher chanting. If you can do this, it's very difficult. Your body is engaging in some way, but my mind was chanting always, you are connected with Muhammad. I want to ask also with the Japa, there are also three ways to chant, with, uh, they can pronounce wrongly, or within the mind, and also there is one way within the mind without moving the tongue. And I would like to ask the difference between those. Yes, one is Manasik Japa. When you are, when you are moving your lips, that is Hishin Japa, that is not Manasik Japa. Is it one Japa? Moving your lips. When you are moving your lips, that is Upangshu Japa. Upangshu. Upangshu. There is three kinds of Japa. Manasik, Upangshu and Bachik. Manasik means what is only by mind. It is not moving your lips. Then Upangshu with some hissing sound. Then your lips are moving, and then bachik loudly. The difference between them is one stronger or? Manasik is always great. This is the greatest. Yes. Manasik is the greatest. Because yes, because when you are doing that Manasik yapa then everything will be engaged with that. But what she said, but what she said, that is engaging in other activities, but by mind, chanting Mahamantra. It's also the same. That means your mind is always there on the point. We ask if when we whisper, whisper the Mahamantra, if it calls the ghosts, no. the spirits. But but this is beneficial for them. Yes, when you will chant this, then it will work for them. Okay. Upanshu Japa is working, Haridas Thakur used to do this. For this all subtle forms, like ghosts and upadevatas, apadevatas, demigods, the lower demigods. They are subtle also. Yes, also. I like which mix. I normally sing Japa this first part with mind. But now when I have a child, I sing loudly when I go with him. Very good. For him, it is beneficial. It's more beneficial when he transfers. More beneficial for both of you. No, no. It's beneficial. Better, better, louder. Better, louder. You say about samskara from childhood. So, you mentioned that when we chant Mahamantra, then Good samskaras from childhood will help us to develop spiritual skills. So what will happen if, for example, some people they have bad samskaras from childhood? It will go away. By Harina. By Harina, that samskara will work with you, which is beneficial for your life. Harina will never develop such urges from this material world which is not beneficial, which is harmful for you. He is doing everything only for our betterment. Harinam always useful for us, only for our betterment. If, yes, that is true. Every one of us who have so many bad qualities inside of us. So by the power of Harinam, it will go away from our heart. <coughs> yes, uh, because uh, many people, they are trying to go to psychologists to take these uh, bad uh, uh, memories from childhood. 
take it out and then take it out. For them, my advice is if they can take center on Harinam, they will never go to psychologist. What psychologist will do? She will work with your experiences. She will work with this material world. But Harinam will take you from here in another world. So for today, the six hours taking rest. Jai Nidhari.